<laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Plika. I'm Jerome. And I'm Nick. And today we're talking about Narcos Mexico, episode nine. What a fucking great episode this was. It was really good. The ending is a bit sad. Yeah. She's reading Charlotte's Web. Says that Charlotte died alone. Yeah. As they storm into the place and they can't find Kiki. Yeah. So he's dead, right? I mean, I, I, I guess. They they would have showed him, I believe, if he wasn't dead. We got a comment last video that yeah. they mentioned his fate in the first season of Narcos. Now, I haven't watched that. You have. I have. You didn't remember that? I don't remember that. No. But the fact that they mention it and he's not there, I think he's dead. So, yeah, I saw the comment and I was like, what the hell? Like, so... I watched season one, two, and three, enjoyed all of them. Mm -hmm. It could have been something that they said, and I just didn't connect. Well, I mean, you don't know who he is. You probably just heard, like, yeah, you like could I have heard a DEA agent died, and you didn't know. And him. I didn't know it was him, yeah. So, I do know two other people that watched it, and they also didn't know that. Yeah. So, it didn't make me feel too bad. <sighs> His, his some of his scenes are really hard to watch. This episode, the last one, like when they're drilling into his hand. Yeah, that was gonna say is the dr the drill got me. That one and like and then he's about like they're like oh his body's about to uh, to shut down. Let's pump some adrenaline into him. You're like holy fuck. You know what I didn't like is how business they were about it. They're like like all right, we're done torching you here. Grab a bite to eat and go talk to your friend. Yeah, that was weird. And then the guy's like, no, we need answers. And like, the one guy's like, he doesn't. Like a lot of them are like, he doesn't know shit. And they're like, we need names. So get go back in there. I feel like a lot of this, not just this episode, but the last like couple episodes, is other people fucking shit up, and then Felix has to try to fix it. Yeah, it must be uh, it's again. I don't know what's with the show making me feel bad for criminals, but it makes me feel bad. I'm like, oh, he's blamed for a fucking Kiki's death. Oh, he's blamed for all this shit he didn't do. He's just trying to simply he, he's simply he's just simply trying to get some cocaine and marijuana into some people's hands. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, this show is really good at making me feel bad for him because I'm like. Oh man, he's good. And then I have to stop myself, and I'm like, he's a criminal, just whatever. <laughs> yeah. So I totally fell for um, him coming home and laying down with his wife in the beginning when I when I started. When I watched it, I was like, I was like, they're not gonna show us what happened. No, what I thought, I was like, did I accidentally skip to the end and he's home okay? So uh. I like, clicked on this. I was watching because I started watching it on the treadmill at the gym, and mm -hmm. I was like, oh no, okay, this is fake. Because uh, for a second, and then she instantly rolls over. And she's like, "Oh fuck, Kiki's not here." And I, I like, when, I totally thought I skipped to the end. When by she accident. did that thing with her eyes, and she like wakes up and like like kind of bugs him out, and I was mm -hmm. like, "God damn it, that was a dream." So then, I hate Felix's brother, Rafa. Yeah, yeah. oh my. This episode, he fucks up shit, and the, uh, he fucked up shit last episode. He's getting blamed for. It. He's like, "Yeah, he's doing it for us, yeah, Rafa." And so they're gonna send him away. They send him to Costa Rica. Well, for, he's getting he's getting ready to go onto his plane. Oh yeah. Fucking kidnaps his girlfriend. Like I said, nothing against her, but he's even more annoying when she's around because he thinks it's like Romeo and Juliet and some shit. Yeah. So he goes and kidnaps her with her mom, which I was, that seems a little that funny. I was to be gonna honest. say I actually like that. Um, so he kidnaps her. They go to the plane, and then they the DA catches them. Which meanwhile they send a bunch of agents in because no one in Mexico will do anything. So do you think Rafa has um a thousand headshots worth the AK? Because he get it gold? No, I think he cheated to yeah, get okay. it gold. Um, but yeah, so he, they they find out he's going to the airport. They all go there and eventually and the they guy get goes and talks to him. And then he's like, "You know, it's the wrong guy. You work for the DFS." And I was like, "You got to be fucking kidding me!" Could you imagine? I I would have shot the plane. I would have blown it up. I I did something. There's no fucking way. Yeah, I, I feel like some of them wanted to. Yeah, no, totally. But I feel like they would have been killed if they did that. And then so. I like how they brought back, I forgot his name, Kamineri or something. The, the guy who was um, in the messing up uh, Kiki's informant. Yeah. Was, yeah, I really yeah. liked him. I like how they brought him in and he's like, you guys ready? He's like, well, what's your name for some um, warrants? Warrants. And he goes, what's a warrant? Yeah, they're like, All like right. yeah, that's the man. We're, like, he, he's definitely what helped him out. Yeah, I liked him a lot. And you know who else I liked in this episode? Was the Costa Rican army that helped them. oh yeah because they get this get this motherfucker they're like we're gonna fuck around yeah they're like brruh, brruh. they're just like shooting yeah that, that was really cool and i was like oh fuck they're they were killing so many people i was like oh they're just gonna shoot him and his girlfriend i, I thought they were gonna kill them both yeah and they, i was surprised that they didn't and then so once they get there and they get him i thought of you in this part because they were torturing him and they kept dislocating his shoulder and popping it back in and you kind of have a history with that okay so i forgot because we talked about kiki's like torture yeah 
<laughs> by far worse. <laughs> oh my god, they they got him to say where Kiki was because they were I doing it so much. Honestly, they would have probably just had to mention. And you're like, no, 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 he's right here. <laughs> no, yeah, honestly, if they had said, okay, we're gonna dislocate your shoulder and then pop it back in place, I I would have I would just saying that I would have been like, okay, here's the address. Yeah, I, I I thought I've dislocated my shoulder twice. He's done it like he's uh, he's got you beat. They did like ten times to him. Yeah, <laughs> you know it hurts the. Do you think it was sore when they did it like the tenth time and he said it and then they put his hands behind his back and handcuffed him? You know what? It feels fine once it goes back in. But wouldn't you think if you did that like ten times, it'd be a yeah. little sore? Well, the thing is, is what so what was cool about it? The longer it stays out, too, the more it hurts. Oh, so they, I'm sure they were popping it out and then okay, and then they pop it back in because mm-hmm. then once you pop it back in, you're okay again. But it oh, so like, or like you touch it when it yeah, uh, that that was a pretty yeah. Uh, t- I totally pretty, forgot about that until you said like that. weird and specific type of torture that like you gotta yeah. be a little sick in the head to think of. Yeah, it was pretty cool, but I I did like that. And he gave up where Kiki is, and then you know they try to make you cry. And she's I think my shoulder actually hurt reading shots up and they go it. get him. I could probably I could see that. Yeah, but I I, I love this episode. The beginning, uh, Jamie going around. I don't, I don't know if his name uh, on IMDb is his James. Everybody calls him Jaime. I don't know what to call him, but he's going around looking for Kiki, going back all the places. That was really cool. He's yelling at all the Mexican police. Yeah, and his wife and his wife is really helping too, even though she didn't really like physically do. She a didn't whole do lot. anything, but like she, she was straight up to people. Yeah, yeah, I really liked her, and she wasn't like a basket case too, which helped. I think it's because like th- like yeah. they've talked so much. Yeah, she reminded me a lot more this episode. She's like a female Kiki. Yeah, she was like him. But yeah, I I really like that. It was pretty sad too when she was sitting by the pool and this Kiki Junior comes up. Yeah, he's like Dad's not okay, right? And she's like, I don't know. But that was like a really sad. Scene. No, yeah, that's a tough situation. Yeah, because like, what do you say? Oh, your no, dad he... was kidnapped by Mexican drug lords. <laughs> yeah, no, he's fine. <laughs> He'll be back tomorrow. Um. And then Felix has to give up his brother. I like that. So he starts, he's like, I have a fix for it. And I was like, oh, fuck. Is he going to give him up? Or like, does he have some like special Felix plan? But no, he gave up Rafa. We, could, we, we talked about that a couple videos back. Like, do you think he's, it's going to lead to that? Because remember I said, if he doesn't need his wife, if he's giving up that, does he, mm-hmm. is he going to give up his brother next yeah. and stuff like that? So I kind of had that in the back of my mind. And then he did it. And I was like, yeah, you're badass. Well, and then I was thinking, so then he knew that he was going to give him the address of the DEA. See, I think he knew, th- yeah, he knew that would happen, and they knew that torturing him a little bit, because he's a little fucking bitch, yeah. he'd give it up right away. Yeah. I think he knew all that. It's weird, because Rafa is a bitch, but then... S- but, but, like, he but he but like he will do things, but, like, yeah. if something's happening to him, he'll, he'll yeah. be a bit of a wuss about it. Yeah. And I and I, he knew that. So I, he knew like the whole he, thing would happen. He's a badass when he's kidnapping a... Uh, his girlfriend from it from her mom. Yeah, or killing two random yeah. uh, tourists. Tourists, yeah. But if it's, you know, people storming in, he's like, no, it's not me. Yeah, I like that too when they grab him. He's like, you got the wrong guy. And they're like, what? shut the fuck up. And then his girl gives him yeah, up. Yeah, she gave him up. That's because they're like, up. his life's over. Do you want yours to be over? And she's like, no. Yeah, I knew she'd give him up. I figured, yeah. The look on his face too is like yeah. priceless. Yeah. When she gives him up, he's like, you, what? I thought we were together. He lost his smile there. Yeah, yeah, but so do you think? Do you think he's dead? I, I'm like pretty sure he's dead. I guess <laughs> I don't want him to be, but like, I I I don't think they would have had that sad ending if he was alive. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I'm holding out hope. Yeah. So, what do you think? It's hard to speculate, especially we can just go watch it right now. But which we're gonna do? Yeah. Uh, happened to Felix's business and all that. Cause it basically, he has to start over. Yeah, I mean, he has to start over, but he's it's not hard to make up the money. Yeah. So, like, I mean, you just you you start over, and in no time, you have the money again. As long as the coke's still coming in. The the way the show's going right now, mm-hmm. it makes me feel like he is gonna get captured in this next episode, and it's gonna lead right into El Chapo. You think so? Because, like, everything is going to shit. And then I I told you, I just saw that Chapo gets arrested for the first time in, like, 10 years from now, which would be perfect for the next season, and then they could do shit like that. Yeah. So I feel like the timeline kind of fits perfect for that. But I could be completely wrong on that, too. 
but I just feel like it's heading. I guess it seemed like it was going to an end this episode. So I can I can imagine next episode they might. Yeah, do but it. it always seems to go down, and then they like something happens, and then it goes right back up. Yeah, that could be the case as well. Um, to me, it's too short of a lifespan for Felix to for to. So I, I expect Felix to be around in season two or season whatever it is. Well, this it is season two because this yeah. is season one of North yeah. Mexico. It is, but it doesn't seem like it. Especially after, like, when you go rewatch. Well, it's weird, and they, well, yeah, because they add Pablo in this. Yeah. But I, I, I feel like, I think this is supposed to be, like, what was happening during, like, season one of yeah. Narcos or whatever. It's like a it's like a crossover, kind of. Yeah. Which is cool. Yeah. It, I, I'm super excited now to go watch Narcos after this. Like, it's cool. I, I get to continue to be new for me. Even though yeah. everybody else already watched it, like, I'm excited to go start a new show. Yeah. Um... It's been really good, and it it's it's funny because when I watched the first two seasons of Narcos, I was worried about season three, um, just knowing knowing what I knew about it already from mm-hmm. season two, and season three was just as good. And oh, this really? is just as good as season three was. So, yeah, and it was completely different, like people. I mean, not completely, but but for the most part, it was it was. Well, remember the guys that he met, Felix met in the first place. Yeah, you said it was about them. I think it was about the them and, and a br- another brother, um, but about someone else who was. I don't think he was even in it in season one or two. If he was, it was very r- rarely. That's interesting. Um, uh, on that side, mm-hmm. and then of course there was th- the same DEA. Oh, well, okay. mostly the same. So like, but it was just as good, and this is just as good. So it's just it's just one of those things you just wanted to continue. You want the story to continue because it's yeah. so good. They're 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 really good at this. Yeah. Uh, but that's it for this video. Please like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of Narcos Mexico so far, and we'll see you guys next time for episode 10. Yeah, let's do it for us. Yeah, Rafa.